What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show a very very simple method to get a Raksha pool skip kill. This is going to be based on my low effort Raksha method. There's going to be a card to that in the corner. So if you haven't seen that video, there's probably going to be some things that maybe aren't in this video that uh, will be in that one. So if you know there's some details missing, go check that one out to get a little bit more in-depth understanding. So the reason that I'm making this video is I got a comment from Selly. I don't know how to say that, but um, I got this comment asking if I can make a pool skip rotation. And honestly, um, this isn't the greatest video. I mean, it's a lot like the other one, but I think this is a good way to show how to modify this rotation to get a pool skip. So thanks for that comment. And uh, hopefully this video helps you out. So for the preset with this method, it's basically the exact same preset we used with uh, the other low effort method. Um, however, I will say that I would not deviate from what you see on screen here really at all. Um, you know, you're going to be needing uh, tier 95 first necromancer gear as well as the uh, tier 95 weapons. Um, I also probably wouldn't use anything other than Majorat Aura. Um, but yeah, the only thing that I would maybe change from what you see here is obviously an EOF with the tier 90 weapon special attack in it. And, um, you know, that can very easily if you manually cast that special attack at the end of the uh, phase three, uh, it can help a lot to make that a lot more consistent. But again, for this method, I tried to make it as low effort as possible. So I just have an amulet of souls in there. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much up to you. Wow, is my character bright. What the heck? <laughs> anyway, so before I start this uh, kill, there is something that I want to go over with how Split Soul works. So as soon as I go into the instance um, and like pretty much get ready to start a kill, I want to use Split Soul immediately and then I will surge forward and do all of my other uh, like conjuring and using Invoke Death and all of that stuff. And as long as you do it correctly, you will be getting split soul back for the pool skip portion. If you use split soul too late or you're too fast and don't wait enough time in between uh, using split soul and starting the kill, you won't have it back for the pool skip and it won't really be possible. So uh, yeah, I highly suggest just trying this out a couple times and getting the feel for when to use split soul at the start of the fight, just so you always have it back for the, uh, for the pool portion. Uh, the second thing is I would still bring a scythe and laceration boots. Um, if you make any small mistakes, it probably will be easier for you to just do a uh, bladed dive on the pools than have to deal with like 100% enrage. So uh, I would still bring the scythe and the laceration boots just in case you make a mistake because, uh, you know, if you're not really trying, you're probably going to make mistakes occasionally. And the uh, final thing is this guy is randomly using escape behind me. No, but the final thing is going to be um, make sure you throw the Vuln Bomb before you start the pool skip, basically at one minute into the fight. Uh, if you don't have that free 10% damage boost, you're maybe going to run into problems with not quite having enough damage to uh, skip the pools, or it's going to take you too long to uh, skip the pools and it's going to build a bunch of enrage and just not really be worth it. So uh, keep all of these things in mind when you're doing this method that uh, your execution as a player definitely will help make this method a lot better. So before I start this kill, I just want to explain one little thing about this action bar. If you notice, it's basically the same exact action bar as the low effort method. However, uh, you can see that Volley of Souls is uh, outside of Revolution, and that's because we're going to have to manually be casting it. Uh, the way that Volley of Souls works for this, like the, the amount of variance in your damage will cause Volley of Souls to not always properly cast at the like optimal time and you want to be making sure that you're getting those optimal casts for volley of souls you know especially for the uh the uh, pool skip and you also want to be making sure that your character is not accidentally casting volley of souls at like an inopportune time from Re uh, revolution so uh we will be manually casting volley of souls but that's pretty much the only manual cast we have to do uh really do throughout the fight so uh yeah let's get right into it so make sure all of your buffs are on and then we are going to go into the instance. All right, so you can see we are in the beginning of the instance. And the first thing that we do when we join the instance is going to be using 
Split Soul. And then we search forward one time, and then we cast our Conjure Undead Army. Invoke Death. We cast our Command Vengeful Ghost, and then we cast Life Transfer and Surge Forward one more time to activate the fight. And we click on Raksha, use the Vuln Bomb, obviously. And uh, you're probably going to need to Excalibur here since we are using Life Transfer. But uh, you could pretty much do that at any time because it's off global cooldown. And much like the other, other method, we just click the Enhanced Replenishment Potion here and walk away like that as soon as we Death Skulls. And you can see as soon as the first phase uh, ends and we can start doing damage onto the next phase, we will use our Volley of Souls. So you can see here it phases, Volley of Souls comes out, and then we use the uh, Vitality to block all of this rock damage. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see we use our third Death Skulls there, and that was during the Living Death, so we will get another one. And we need to use a Vuln Bomb right about here at 50 seconds, right as this happens. And now we use Split Soul again. We'll use Death Skulls again. And then you walk around here and cast your Volley. And that is pretty much it. Now you can sit here and... Um, you will generally do enough damage to phase it here. Uh, this wasn't the greatest kill. It did actually get one heal, like you can see. And you can also manually cast Finger of Death if you need to. But uh, as you can see, very easy pool skip. Um, nothing really to it besides just optimally casting your Volley of Souls. But um, yeah, it's a very simple method. You could probably get as low as a two minute kill, but I think my fastest has been about 215. I haven't done too many kills with this method to really go for like PRs or anything like that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, very simple method. Um, it gets really good kill times. One thing to note is you can see how I living death here. You want to make sure this happens. This speeds up your kills significantly. So um, if you maybe have like a unlucky rotation or something like that, you might not actually get that uh, living death. So you kind of want to make sure that's happening. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a very, very easy method, and we pretty much just destroy the boss. Just uh, make sure you're manually casting your Volley of Souls here at the end, and um, yeah, it should just kill it. I mean, this was not the greatest ending uh, phase that I've had, and you can see it got a 223. So a pretty decently quick kill for, you know, super low effort like that. I made a few mistakes. Um, as I was talking through it, it's not as easy to talk through things while uh, you're actually doing it as it might seem. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it gets a pretty, pretty easy kill. Uh, and again, maybe even as low as two minutes if you got some really good RNG. All right, so let's try that again, just to, uh, I guess, reinforce the idea. So you can see here we have the little action bar. And basically, Split Soul, Surge Forward, Summon, Invoke, Cast Ghost, and then Life Transfer and Surge. And then we can use our Excalibur right now to get some healing started. And then we click on Raksha, and that's it. And then Vuln Bomb, and that's it. And there may be circumstances where your DPS isn't super amazing with this method, and... Um, you will actually get the little orb thing where you have to click on the two orbs. And if that happens during the phase transition, you will have a really long period of time where you're not actually able to do very much damage, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, let's see, it didn't happen here, so we got lucky. So yeah, we pretty much just volley here. Um, one thing to note is make sure you're not using volley like if you get some really good hits on your first uh phase which does happen occasionally make sure you're not using volley of souls if the next ability is going to be death skulls you obviously want death skulls to cast it's such a good ability but yeah as you can see here pretty simple we just uh death skulls I had to manually cast it you can walk around here you might be able to reflect this um i personally just find it easier to walk like you can see i walked like two times and <laughs> had to manual cast once and yeah um it's just very easy to do something like that rather than reflecting and wasting DPS and adrenaline and stuff like that. But yeah, as you can see, just super fast um, phase right there. Really, really good. And we are already into phase four. And 
One thing to note, like I said, for phase four, make sure you're trying to get the living death. Make sure you're not like wasting all your adrenaline, like spam casting, um, like finger of death or something like that. In a circumstance like this, it is a bit difficult because um, our DPS was so high, we don't actually have living death, as you can see. But uh, we will be getting that back right here. And um, yeah, super easy. So we're just going to volley of souls through this, pick up all of the slimes. Didn't want to cast on Reva there. Either way, should be fine. Uh, another thing to note is you can see the Ripper Demon gets stuck. You can just call the Ripper Demon and it will be fine. And it will uh, get back in place to start attacking again. But yeah, like you can see, we are just absolutely melting. Um, a two, what was that, like 215? Yeah, 215 exactly. Just a super, super good kill. And that is what a lot of your kills will look like. You maybe will run into a situation if you don't get the greatest DPS where your kills will be like 230. But as long as your execution is good, you really shouldn't be getting kills too much longer than 230 ever. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys use this method to get some really quick Raksha kills. Uh, this is a really easy pool skip and uh, yeah, really, really good method. Thanks for watching guys. If you made it this far in the video, definitely drop a like. It does help promote the channel quite a bit. And uh, if you actually use this method, drop a comment below because I always like to know if people are actually using these methods. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.